Good morning and happy Friday. Yeah. It is a good day because last night I got cleared by my neurosurgeon to go back to work. So next week I'm going to start to get back into routine because Monday the 30th is my first day of school. That's our meet the teacher night. So I'm so excited. They said the scar looked good. They said that, you know, as long as I don't do any heavy lifting over 10 pounds, you know, the next two weeks, it should be fine. So I'm so happy. I'm in such a good mood. So today we're gonna go to my classroom. It is 10 o'clock. I've been up since like seven or eight, but I was doing schoolwork. My new, my new online class started yesterday and I have to do like three, two discussion posts, three comments and a huge paper. So I try and get most of it done early in the week. So I just did my two discussion posts and my three responses all today. And I'll do the big paper probably like tomorrow maybe or this afternoon if I have time. So I did the boring stuff first, which is why I only started vlogging now. I'm gonna shower. Then we're gonna go to my classroom. We're gonna stop at my PO box on the way because I've got some stuff there, I believe. So we'll see. But anyway, just taking you with me again on another day in the life of a teacher on break, enjoying her almost last week of vacation. It's crazy. All right, let's shower. <laughs> Little outfit of the day, nothing fancy, but I am wearing my brand new Faith Over Feelings cropped oversized tee from Marshalls that I just got yesterday, day before, can't remember. And some Marshalls plain biker shorts. So another Marshalls inspired outfit today, accidentally. All right, y'all, let's go to my field box. But first, I need to figure out how to get this all into my car in little increments so I don't hurt myself. Guess we're doing a million trips again. Doctor said I can't lift more than 10 pounds, so we're gonna have to do one item at a time. All right, I just stopped at my PO box and I have two things. One, I think I know what it is. The other one, I actually might know what both of them are. No, this is not what I thought it was. These are cute. They're cute little earrings. I um, I guess I'll have to look up on Instagram if this is what that, I just showed you my address. Well, it's just my PO box address actually, which you have access to. Um, these cute little earrings. I don't know who sent these. I'll have to see on Instagram who sent them. That's exciting, so cute. Thank you if you're watching this. And then this one must be one of two things because there's only one other thing that I was aware somebody was sending me and it feels like, um, Thank you from Picture Me Reading. Yes, so these guys are, I'm pretty sure they're sight word cards that have the pictures to go with them. So it's like easier for the students to learn them. It's called Picture Me Reading and they sent me a set. I'm not sure what set it is. Kind of looks like maybe the primer list of the Dolch sight words. And look, they're the cards, but they have the pictures to go with it to help the students remember and there's a whole set of them. So I'll open those up at my classroom, but how exciting. I'll do a little video on that for Instagram as well. So thank you, so exciting. All right, car is packed. You can probably tell. Yep, did that very slowly. We're gonna head to my classroom. I think my best friend and the girls that I nanny for are gonna meet us there because I'm obviously not back to nannying yet, so she's watching them for me today. I'm gonna see if I can help her, help, I can have her recruit, I can, I'm hoping I can recruit her to help me with some class decor projects, because she's got an eye for that. Let's go. All right, the last that we talked, it was 11, and I was on my way to my classroom. It is now one o'clock, so I haven't filmed in the last two hours because I had my roommate Jordan stop by with the girls that I nanny for normally. They came and just kind of hung out while me and Jordan did some projects and stuff. So I'll show you what we did in a minute. But yeah, I'm like sweating. It is so hot here. My fan is on, my windows are open. It is so humid and sticky and hot out and I just Hate it. Can't wait to be here in a couple of weeks wearing a mask in this weather. So anyway, I'm gonna show you everything that I did while I was here for the last two hours. So this table still needs two different yoga balls. I'm either gonna keep looking on Facebook Marketplace or just order them off of Amazon. The table needs to be raised though. 
The table also needs to be raised over here because I just bought new wobble stools for this table that all match, but they're kind of close to this table, so both of these tables are going to get raised. You can see in the background that I put down my new carpet spots for lining up. I only put out 20 because that's how many I'm supposed to have right now. And I think it'll be fun because when the kids are at the carpet, I can be like, all right, if your spot says smile often, go line up. If your spot says love yourself, go line up. They're all going to have a numbered spot in line where they always go in the same order because last year my students always fought about being first in line and cutting. So that's the plan. I put in my new chair. Actually, my roommate brought in my new chair. It looks so cute there. I put up this magnetic border around my foundations area and it just kind of separates it from the rest of my board. I added my new magnet. Um, displays there as well as these. I got these both off of Amazon. I linked them in my storefront. Somebody gave me the really good idea of putting books in them. I think it'll be a good place for me to put the books I want to read that day so that I don't lose them and I'm just organized. I wanted to put my voice level posters um, going from top to bottom, but I realized they weren't going to fit on my whiteboard and I like keeping them next to my desk so that I can just grab them and go. So I put them, I guess you call this horizontally, the puck legs. Puck lights work really well. Gotta be good this year about making sure I turn them off when I'm done with them. I also got that matte spray so that I can spray everything that's laminated because as you can see, the glare is just terrible on those, but we're not gonna do that today. This is all my stuff I got from Sam's Club yesterday. Haven't done the restock yet. My roommate helps me do a bunch of stuff. So she hung up our cares wall. And I think above it, I'm gonna write our class cares. I like that you can see it above the easel. I put up my bulletin, board, my bulletin birthday board and I'm just going to print out on my um, labeler their names and what day of the month that it is. I put my cute little new book buddies underneath there because that's what somebody suggested. So thank you for the suggestion. Jordan put up my word wall topper and my sound wall topper. I'm starting to regret not spraying all this stuff before I hung it because now I feel like maybe I can't spray it now that it's been hung up on the wall. Somebody let me know. And then I filled these caddies that have been sitting over here. So I'm using personal materials, like their own toolboxes again this year for supplies, but there are some supplies that I have a lot of that I want the students to have access to, to share that don't fit in their toolboxes. Like every table can have a Germex this year. I have little sharpeners that somebody donated, these little packs of tissues just so they don't have to keep getting up all the time. And then these Colors of the World diversity markers. I had five sets of those, so I plopped those in there. Some of this stuff might change, I might keep it the same. I don't know, we'll see. And then the last thing, now that I have all five of my collapsible file storages, I'm gonna use these to put in um, classroom donations on Meet the Teacher Day next, not next week, the week after. So like, have them put like wipes and tissues in here, uh, pencils and colored pencils in here, scissors and glue, all that. Everything that comes to my classroom is a donation. We don't do a class list, supply list, so that would be that. All these books are books that I've bought or donated or you know collected over the last couple weeks of my classroom, so they're not organized. And most of them are gonna be read-alouds anyway, so I don't have to like look up their level, but I do need to find a place to store them because all my read alouds over here. So I'm gonna find the right bucket. These ones are diversity books. These ones are social emotional books. And these ones are just other read alouds that are my favorite to read to the kids. So there we have it. I also started to put up my affirmation station and then I couldn't find the um, circles, but I found the circles. So I need to hang those up. I need to put in my book box numbers over here and I need to hang their cubby numbers outside as well. So gonna do some work. So much has been completed. I did my affirmation station. I couldn't fit all of them. There were like four that I couldn't fit, so I just picked my favorites. I don't think I showed you this in the first video, but I did my how we go home little um, thing over here above their mailboxes. And I'm just gonna do little paper clips around them, I think, with their names on it so that I can easily move them from like, if you're normally a parent pickup, now you're a after school. And for bus riders, since there's so many different buses that they can take, I'll probably just put a little number on their clothespin so I know 
which breasts they're gonna take home. I also put my little tags on my tin cans that say what they're buying for lunch, hot, cold, or lunch from home. Again, I also use paper, uh, not paper clips, clothespins for those. I put on the book box labels for my bins. And I only did A through L because it's all I put out at the beginning of the school year. And I have not created the labels yet for these top ones that are like my themed books. So those are not done yet, but I will try and do those next week. Again, if it's not done before school, it doesn't really matter. And that might be it that I've done since I last filmed. So it is 2.23. I can't stay longer than three. So if anything, I've got a little bit more time here. I kind of wanted to start mapping out. I normally, at my morning meeting area, do sit spots. I have 20 to put out, so I was gonna maybe try and map out that because I have space now to put out sit spots this year. So, let's do that. Turns out, I can't find my full set of Velcro dots. I thought that I had a full set from last year, and I do not, so instead, I'm going to take all my new read aloud mentor textbooks that I've gotten donated over the last few weeks. And I'm going to put them in their correct bin. All right, update. I left my classroom, it's 2.45. I started putting away the diversity books and then I was like, you know what? I don't wanna organize the rest of them. So I just put them in a pile on my shelf. Um, I'm meeting Jordan with the girls here. We're gonna get ice cream. And then after that, I'm gonna go home and lay low because I'm feeling tired. Even though I feel good most of the time, my body's still healing itself. So to remember that I'm not back to, I'm not back to full speed yet. I'm gonna get ice cream, go home. Uh, probably gonna start working on my online class that I started this morning that I'm hoping I can finish this afternoon.